Chris, I have an issue with this word submission. What does it exactly mean when it says that I should submit uh, to my husband? Submission, submission, submission. Huge word that confuses a lot of people because a lot of women are telling me, My goodness, does this mean that I have to submit to my husband even when I don't feel like it? See, that's the problem. Most people take this word submission to just being physical submission, uh, they take this submission to just being, um, I must do everything my husband say, whether I like it or not, I must do it. I don't take it that way, and that's where I think. Uh, why we share and why I'm talking and why I'm speaking my truth and why you're speaking your truth so we can all help each other to navigate this life because it can be sometimes confusing so what is submission to me I think submission just means um, a woman was called to be a helper for the man that she has now when you are called to be a helper because as we all know it according to the bible we were made out of a man we literally are the man rib so we are made out of a man that's why we are called women a woman so now the man came before us and we were brought as a helper when you are brought to be somebody's helper you don't choose where to help them and where not to help them you just do your very best to support that man in every way you can. You become a helper. You get it? A helper, not a leader. I know most women, we want to be the leaders also in our family. But if you want a successful marriage, to be quite honest, what I've learned is this. I could be wrong, but this is my truth. When, as a woman, you try to now uh, fight with your husband about everything and everything, uh, I can't do this, you can't do this, you can't do this, okay? You're always going to be frustrated. You're going to choose your battles and you're going to choose them wisely. And always remind yourself that you are asked to submit, he's asked to love you like nothing else. So long as he's giving love, it's very easy for you to submit. So for those who are having difficulties in submission, is because their significant others are not giving love that is required in order for the woman to find it necessary to now submit in whichever way form that is. And so these women who are telling me that I don't even want to submit in my financial area, I feel my money should be my money, why should he have my money? Why should you have his money then? Remember, you were called to be your husband helper. Your significant other helper. Now, when you start saying your money, it's your money, his money, is his money. Does that sound like someone who love and somebody who want to help the other person? To me, that sound like someone who is already entering a marriage with a nearly sort being divorce or separation you're already thinking i need to take care of me just in case this marriage thing doesn't work here this relationship doesn't work here man my plan b will be i'll have my money stacked up somewhere so who cares if he leaves now do you see something wrong with that i think there's something wrong with that because you're already putting money before your man you're already putting money before love you're already putting money before trust you're already putting money before caring you're putting money before everything when you do that then you have nobody else to blame but yourself because let's face it you decided from the word go that you cannot trust the man you have fully you decided that you cannot give yourself fully you decided that you cannot submit and when by submitting I mean in every way within reason well i'm not saying if your man is abusive now and he's asking you things that are crazy that you just submit without questioning no that's not what i'm talking about here but i'm talking about the things that the word of the god have asked us to submit to our husband and he's asked us also god have us ask our husband also to love us with everything they have just like the christ loved the church once we do that submission just become natural progression it's not something you think about it it's just something you do just like breathing and when you do that you find that you'll have peace in the family you'll have joy you'll have love that is overflowing <laughs>